court talking about dreamers and calling for Speaker Ryan to commit to a vote on an immigration bill as Republican leader Mitch McConnell has in the Senate. She says if Ryan won't commit to this, she's going to oppose the Senate deal. Why should we in the House be treated in such a humiliating way when the Republican Senate leader has given that opportunity in a bipartisan way uh, to his membership. It does nothing to even advance, even with a commitment, uh, without ha having passed the legislation first, to advance bipartisan legislation to protect dreamers in this House. Without that commitment from Speaker Ryan, comparable to the commitment from Leader McConnell, this package does not have my support, nor does it have the support of a large number of members of our caucus. Okay, let's bring in NBC News White House correspondent Kristen Welker along with Casey Hunt, uh, Capitol Hill correspondent and host of MSNBC's uh, Casey DC. Casey, let me start with you. Do Republicans uh, want to go near immigration right now? Well, Ali, I think that the question here is what kind of a wrench does this throw into what we thought was going to be relatively smooth sailing out of this shutdown showdown that is looming uh, on Thursday? This morning when we all uh, first were getting up and checking our phones, the sense was the Senate was ready to announce a big bipartisan deal. That would mean uh, that they would be able to put that out. They would be able to put the caps uh, for those bu big budget numbers for defense uh, and domestic spending into the continuing resolution. Solution, then they'd be able to write a funding bill and we would potentially be in the clear at least until September, the end of the fiscal year. The question now is, does what Nancy Pelosi is doing put a, a wrench in the works that's significant enough uh, that everybody has to kind of take a step back and go back to the drawing board on how we get out of this crisis before Thursday? What she's asking for is a commitment from Speaker Ryan that he will put a bill on the House floor to fix DACA, to protect those dreamers. The Speaker has said only that he will not put something on the floor that the president doesn't support. So uh, it's a difficult uh, place potentially to be because it's not clear yet with the, with the Senate planning, or they at least had been planning to do this budget deal and then open up the floor next week on immigration. Not clear that whatever came out of the Senate would have support from the White House. So that was the position that Speaker Ryan uh, was in. So yesterday, Chuck Schumer said that he and Nancy Pelosi have been in constant contact about this. So, uh, you know, we're trying to report out what this may mean for any potential announcements on the Senate deal, which we were expecting a little bit later on this morning, potentially, uh, and to see whether this uh, move from Nancy Pelosi has any impact or if this uh, is part of the overall plan. Because Senate Democrats had agreed, essentially, to decouple immigration from this broader budget uh, idea. And, of course, we still have uh, dreamers up here in the hallways. I spoke to one of them uh, a few minutes ago, uh, and she had approached uh, Kamala Harris, the uh, senator from California, to talk about the future here. Here's what Harris told me uh, when I asked her about uh, separating these two issues. Take a look. Yeah, um, all the dreamers, they're, they're here, they're in the Capitol, they've been for months, and so the young woman was talking with me, and she's concerned about how it's all going to turn out, and wants to make sure that everybody sees them and knows their stories and stops vilifying them, and that we're fighting to just keep our promise, keep our promise to them. Are you concerned that going ahead with this budget deal without an immigration deal is ultimately going to leave dreamers in the lurch? I hope that's not where we end up, and it's still very much in process, so I'm not going to assume that I know where it is right now. I'm waiting to get briefed on it. So again, Ali, at this stage of the day, I have to tell you, right now there are more questions than answers about how all of this unfolds. I think one of the first key things to watch for is whether Senators Schumer and McConnell do in fact go forward with an announcement of a budget deal. Uh, and of course, what Speaker Ryan says in answer to Nancy Pelosi. Ali. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes.